It's very easy to find the biggest spenders in college football. Oregon comes in at almost a billion with a B. 969 million, that's number one. Number two is Texas A&M, 850 million. Number three is the Texas Longhorns at 766 million. Florida Gators are fourth at 763, and Georgia is fifth at 716 million. Now, obviously all this money is not just going to the players, but it begs the question, who's at the bottom of the list? Because that's who I'm rebuilding today. Now, a quick note, there is no data on a ton of small programs like Kennesaw State, for example. We can assume it's little to none, but for the purpose of this rebuild, I'm going to use this research, which ranked 50 schools. And these numbers are still high. Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are near the bottom at 220 million. The Maryland Terrapins come in second to last, but number 50, the very lowest in NIL spending, the Memphis Tigers at 170 million. Okay, 170 million is a lot of money, but fun fact, Fact, Memphis is the only group of five school in the top 50 over the last 17 years, meaning every single other program was in a power four conference. Memphis is a two-star program with a really solid overall and 82 overall in the American conference. We'll be seeing a lot of triple options since we've got Army and Navy in this conference. And our steepest competition will come from Tulane and UTSA. They're the only two programs with a higher overall than us right now. Also, not gonna lie, UAB is a dynasty monster. So I'm a little scared of them too, but this should be a really fun rebuild. I'm going to be a recruiter head coach. We're going to need to sign some dogs if we want to compete for a national championship. Don't set your adaptive AI too aggressive unless you want them to go for two every time, which has gotten me in trouble. So I'm going balanced. I will bring my general aggressiveness up to 60 though. I'll try out Memphis's spread offense and their 4-2-5 defense. Don't know much about it. Over the past five years, I mean, I don't really watch Memphis football, but they've actually been solid. 12-2 in 2019. 8-3, and 6-6, and 7-6, six and 10-3. Six, and, six, and three. So they haven't had a losing record since 2013. That's really solid. Keep in mind, they may be the lowest NIL money on this list, but they are significantly higher than everybody else in the American Conference. So they're kind of like punching down a little bit. We got to take them to the natty and beat teams like Texas and Georgia, though. That's the end goal. First things first, what is Memphis's current roster? I know we have a really good quarterback. Yes, yeah, Seth Hennigan. So he is a senior. This will be our only season with him. But 88 overall for this dude is nasty. Rock Taylor, 88 overall stud senior wide receiver. So he's got his perfect target. We also have a stud senior halfback. It's going to be a long time till this offense is this good again. Like this is, this is kind of an anomaly for a two star, but that's a nasty trio right there. Hey, Demir Blankamsey, wheel of college ultimate team legend. Davion Ross, fast corner. Keande Henry, deep threat wide receiver with 92 speed, 92 excel. Do you have, um, are there caps? Keande Henry's quickness is not cap. This man could realistically be 99 speed, 99 excel. I think we got to redshirt him. What about the future of the quarterback position here? Harris Boyd, Harrington Maiden. Wow, Kate Cunningham. I thought he played for the Pistons, but what do I know? I also thought he was black, but I don't know shit, I guess. Dude, look at this dude. Arrington Maiden's actually fast. 88 speed, 93 excel. He could put one more point in quickness. His accuracy can't go that high. His power could get maxed. His elusive. Dude, we could switch. We could switch Memphis over to a, a run first offense. I got to Richard him. All right. What are our biggest points of emphasis for recruits? Honestly, our linebackers do look pretty solid. We need more young corners for sure. Way too senior heavy. So we got to look into some good corners. Definitely need a free safety as well. So it looks like we're focused. Focusing on defense a little bit more. D tackles are so shallow. This dude has 49 speed. Yikes. Right and left end are not great. Okay, yeah. So we're going to work on the defensive line, the secondary, and we can hold off on offense for right now. Offense looks pretty good. All right, let's get ready for week one. I want to see how this team plays. Fun fact though, when I was down in Orlando playing this game early before it released, I asked the EA developers how NIL was going to be implemented in the game. And they said, honestly, NIL is so new that we're not sure how to implement it for this first drop, College Football 25, but they hoped to have it be significantly more impactful in College Football 26. Because like, I, 
Obviously, you can't just throw money at players in this game, but that's kind of what happens in real life. So I wonder if we'll see that in College Football 26. Oh, uh, we're a two-star program, so I filled my recruiting board with two and three stars. I would love to get a solid field general guy for the future. I do like that scrambler quarterback, but that's a big maybe. It's kind of hard to use the running quarterback playbooks and have a lot of success with it, but I do want to try it. Mm, Moses Jefferson, really slow. The thing is, it's easy to get players speed upgraded you just can't control whether they do it or not you know like they just kind of upgrade shit as they go Ooh, gem elusive back carlos ventura 91 speed 91 excel i like that but honestly we need d line rico cortez looks okay it's only week one we can monitor these but let's go win our first game our first game's fcs southeast that does not count let's sim this one i want a real team great start to the season one and oh the troy trojans at home is our first game oh we got a significant overall advantage. Gotta love that. Oh my god, look at the alternate jerseys. They got like a hundred. Oh my god, these are sick. I look like the Bengals. I'm rocking these, bro. Memphis Tigers. Honestly, a pretty cool program. I've always thought their jerseys are really cool. You know, when you're a kid and you don't really know ball, you pretty much just latch on to whoever has cool jerseys. That's at least how I was. Season opener against Troy. It's 7-0 already. We're cooking. 7-3. Oh shit, this is close. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, it's 14 to 10. Troy almost in the red zone, but if we can stop them right now, which it does not look like we're gonna do. That's a good tackle. This man, Troy's quarterback, Goose Crowder. Legacy drive here, if he can put this in. First and goal. First and goal. Throws. Ooh, the field goal was almost good. Wide right. All right, second and goal. This is a 4-2-5 defense, which means you... <laughs> that was so ugly. That was so ugly, and then he's gonna hit that on us, bro. Now, 4-2-5 defense, four down linemen, two linebackers, and five DBs, which is usually three corners and two safeties. That's something we have to keep in mind as we're recruiting players. We really don't need linebackers nearly as much, but we need depth at corner. That, or we need to switch our defensive scheme, which I don't know what I want to do yet. If we end up having three really good linebackers, though, I will probably switch to a 3-3. Or a 4-3. Either way, I mean, it's a solid showing right here. We've got 2 minutes, 23 seconds to put together a game-winning drive. Let's see if Memphis can do it. I would step in, but no. I want to see the boys. I want to see the boys win this one on their own. All right, first and 10. 14 to 17. Seth Hennigan, check down. Little white boy. Take nine yards right there. We know that Seth Hennigan is really, really good. It's just tough for a rebuild because I only get him for this single season here. And the odds of us winning a national championship in this first season are they're bigger than zero, they're less than one. 14 to 17, two minute warning. Oh, slip screen, risky business. We'll take six yards. Well, I gotta say, man, though, I love college football. I love that the clock stops to reset the chains. I love that they added the two minute warning. I honestly think college football is so much better than professional football. Professional football is just easier to follow because there's less players. Let's be real. <gasps> Fourth and one. Oh, this is big. Do you run the ball here just to pick this up? I'm scared they're gonna pass. They are gonna pass. Oh, it better be. That's what I'm saying. It better be free if you're gonna pass that. First and 10, it is technically not over. Troy only has a three point lead. Memphis has three timeouts. So they're gonna be running the football. I don't know who is supposed to block the D tackle, but they were non-existent. Second and 13. Troy probably throwing now, knowing that they need a first down or this game's not over. I'd be shocked to see a handoff. They do hand the ball off, and it almost looks like they're going to concede this, which would be awesome for our chances. 14 to 17, third and 10. What do we got, Memphis? What do we got? Oh, we sent a blitz. They do pass. <gasps> 32, look alive, buddy. So Troy wanted the first down there. They don't get it, and they throw incomplete, which means that this clock is stopped. Memphis saves a timeout, and the punt goes out at the 20. That was a horrible punt. That was a horrible punt. You you moved like 25 yards. Seth Hannigan, legacy drive. He's got one timeout. He's got a first down right there, so we don't need to burn it. I would love to watch a Memphis game-winning drive on our season opener. That would get me going. First and 10. Seth Hannigan, slant route, caught. Another first down. Demir Blankumsey, six catches, 59 yards. He's a legend, though. 14 to 17. Seth Hannigan. Laser beam again. Oh my God, are we gonna do this? We're almost in field goal range already. The only thing we can't do is turn this football over. Seth Hennigan spikes it. Not gonna lie, this is God tier clock management right now. Second and 10, we go with a draw play. <laughs> it's gonna go for 10. Is this another spike? I wouldn't spike this, I would run a play. But um, Seth's gonna do his thing, spike. Second and 10, Seth Hennigan. 
Almost. Oh my god, it's caught. Wait, we're kind of electric right now. Oh, they're just going another play. No spike. No spike needed. First and ten. Hennigan and so insane. This is just the worst thing you can do. You got a timeout. You could damn near hand the ball off right there. There's so many things you can do. You just can't throw an interception. That's the only thing you can't do. Because we can kick a field goal go OT. Seth Hennigan, you're supposed to be the leader, the senior, the stud. You're going to throw this dog water ball. What's this? What's he looking at, bro? Victory formation for the Trojans. We will not be wearing a condom today. Season one recap. Memphis goes nine and three. It just speaks to how weak the competition is in the American but we still lost to Tulane, who was four and eight. We beat UAB by five, beat Rice by two, who was ranked at the time, actually. Beat UTSA by 10, Charlotte by three. These are very close games. Beat North Texas by three, smacked USF, beat Middle Tennessee, beat Navy. We beat Florida State. So where's our other loss? Because we lost to Troy. My bad, I read this wrong. We actually lost to Rice. Dude, Rice was a powerhouse this season. They're eight and oh in the American, 10 and two, 19th in the nation. Must be Matthew Sky. We did not make the American Championship, which is shocking. But Rice and East Carolina were above us. I don't really know how East Carolina is above us here, but they are. Winning those games made recruiting pretty solid. I did get Carlos Ventura, the gem. Very fast halfback. Super excited to get this guy. We also got BJ Cadet, athlete, elusive back. I said I needed corners. I got one, Siante Daly. Got Glenn Beaver, Kai Cleland. Working right now on another corner. It looks like he might commit to the Raging Cajuns but we'll see. Jimmy Rooks, Avery Bryant left tackle. I got a three-star D tackle, which we really did need as well. And that's it so far for this season. Ooh, and Moses Jefferson, three-star corner signs as well. Really working on the depth of this defense right now. Three-star right tackle signs, nice. Look who wins the Heisman, Cam Ward, Miami. 35 touchdowns, two interceptions. He technically could win it in real life. I don't see it, but it is technically possible. We get the Boca Raton Bowl, sure. A bowl win to end the season would be pretty nasty. Hey, bowl game win. We beat Louisville. The Boca Raton bowl winner. Why not? That's a nasty first season. I will say, I think it only gets harder from here because we are about to lose an absurd amount of talent. Namely, like our top three offensive guys, wide receiver, halfback, and quarterback. So it's really good that we had a good record here to keep our stars up to recruit well because this second season, I think is going to be ugly. Seth Hennigan ends. Wow. Memphis playbook's actually nasty. Nasty. 3,437 and six is so good good. He's a really high overall, so that's obviously part of it, but that's super good. It got Mario Anderson 800 yards and seven touchdowns, so it's obviously not that heavy on the running back, but those are very good stats, especially for college. Uh, spreads the ball out well. It doesn't look like there's a true wide receiver one. You got 59 receptions here, 56 receptions here, 46, 43, and even 47 to the running back, so you need some depth. I mean, everybody's getting the football here. It is, it's a spread offense, so it makes sense. Defensively, 16 that makes no sense. 16 sacks out of Cavante Spears. Is that a Memphis record? That's insane. Is this guy even good? Cavante Spears has absolutely no, bu no business having done that. How did he do that? All right. Our 85 overall outside linebacker is hitting the portal. Our chance to persuade is very low, but we got to try it. He's not been persuaded. Um, Mond Cole wants more brand exposure? Grow up, kid. Nope, he's gone too. And this guy's a bum. I bet you he'll stay. Oh, congrats. Thanks, Brett. Uh, we love you, buddy. Okay. God, this is horrifying. Look at how much talent just graduated. Seth Hannigan went pro. Uh, nobody else went pro. They all just graduated. But that's like half of our team. More than half of our team. He's gonna get a little spooky. Picked up a few three stars in the transfer portal as well. Mainly defensive guys. Kelly Jones. Tyree Skipper. <laughs> Ian Connerly Goodley. Yeah, I mean, safety, safety, corner, free safety, free safety. Those are some positions that seriously needed a Band-Aid. All right, we can set a position for Carlos Ventura now because he is an athlete. I assume, oh my God, he's actually best at fullback, which I don't like. Uh, let's make him an elusive back. I don't even think there is a fullback in a spread offense. Marcelo Bussy. True. BJ Cadet is best at speed rusher. That's crazy. I'm trying that. I thought he was a running back. Yeah, I mean, you can do some really OP stuff with position changes. I don't know if you guys watched my Rutgers rebuild, but in my Rutgers rebuild, I managed to find a 99 overall left guard. Sorry, I managed to find a 99 speed 
speed left guard. And I made the critical mistake of not position changing him to running back because I would have had a 99 speed, 325 pound running back. Oh, I'm still to this day, I'm so mad at myself for not doing that. All right, gentlemen, now it really begins. So we're a recruiting coach. We just had a really good season. I'm gonna go after some significantly bigger names this season. I've made my board full of four and three stars as opposed to two and three stars last season. I would like some really fast playmakers. So wide receivers or running backs or athletes. And I wanna keep bolstering the defense. Our offensive line is pretty good. And I think we can make do with the quarterbacks that we have. Our schedule for season two, and this really is a very big rebuild season for us. You can see our, our overall went from 82 down to 79. That sucks. We've got ranked Arkansas as the big game and everybody else is just American conference for the most part. We got Louisville and Arkansas. This is a great schedule for us. All right, how ugly is the roster? Do we need to make any changes? So no more Seth Hennigan, redshirt freshman, Arrington Maiden. I cannot tell you how badly I want to start this dude. He's just, he's really not built for a spread offense, but my options are Cade Cunningham, who's now a senior as a 71 overall. I'm going to try him out. I'm going to switch the playbook. We're going to build around Arrington Maiden and we're just going to find out straight up. I'm going to make sure Carlos Ventura is getting reps. I'm going to put him at a halfback two. It's a big year for Marcelo Bussy. Imagine you play DB your whole life just for Marcelo Bussy to break your ankles. See, like, this is what I mean, though. We've got depth at middle linebacker, like two great middle linebackers, and we're running a 4-2-5. So that would make those two the only guys playing, which makes my left outside linebacker obsolete and my right outside linebacker obsolete. I think I need to switch it. It's honestly probably a little early to do this, but I'm going to change the offensive playbook. I'll Although, actually, no, in a spread, I guess the quarterback can scramble and spread. It's just not guaranteed. I'll try it. And I'm switching my defense to 4-3 multiple. I, I, I want to use all my linebackers. Start of the season, we lose to Louisville, but we beat Georgia Southern and Troy. I kind of want to see how we play against a team like Arkansas. This will be the first game that I play the moments on. Uh, they have a significant advantage on us, but they're one and one Listen, gentlemen, if nothing else, we have cool uniforms. All right, Arrington Maiden. This guy did not think he'd be seeing the field. All of a sudden, he's a starter. I feel like I gotta throw the ball to Bussy. I'm going to Bussy. I don't care if he's guarded. Bussy. <laughs> Five yards. Look at that star left guard in there, dude. Don't forget Arrington Maiden, the scrambler. I see a double team on the left side. I'm taking off Arrington Maiden and I just, oh my god, I just dogged that corner. That was nasty. We don't have a lot of speed demons out at wide receiver, so I don't think I'll be doing any cheesing, but damn, that's a great ball under pressure. Maybe Arrington Maiden is actually that guy? Question mark? First and 10. Zone coverage? It is. Maiden. Arrington Maiden, baby. Do I try it? Oh, that's risky. He's got a fast juke animation, though. I really like Arrington Maiden. He could be the future of this program for four years now. No, my center. Arkansas gets through. Okay, third and 10. Big conversion needed here. We're settling for a field goal, which is super lame. Ah, Arrington Maiden, stepping up, stepping up. Fourth and inches. I gotta go for it. All right, apparently my entire team is criminally fatigued. Is anyone seeing this? We're going Maryland heavy hatback blast though. Let's do it. Oh my God, wait, there's two fullbacks? There's two fullbacks? Oh my God, that's the best thing I've ever seen. What is this playbook? Memphis's playbook has a double fullback set. Dude, maybe we do need fullbacks. How do you stop a play that has two lead blocking fullbacks? Hold up, let's just follow those guys to the promised land. That's why I love playing college football, man. Every time, dude, I swear, every game you find some new ridiculous playbook to go crazy with. This is sick. Carlos Ventura, true freshman. All right, defense needs our help though. Arkansas is down in the red zone here. I'm on Martin, a stud middle line. Dude, hello. That's a painful one, I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, second quarter, third and two. Keep the drive alive. Double team on the left side, music to his ears. Arrington Maiden, 14 seconds, second and eight. What about the boy Boyle? Ooh, that's a scary ball. And it's not caught, third and eight. It's probably our last shot at the end zone here. I might as well, let's try the big boy. All right, we'll settle for a field goal. It's really hard to make field goals from the hashes, I believe. I don't perfectly remember. No, that wasn't bad. 10 to seven, Memphis. All right, defense needs a little help holding them to three. It's a slip screen. He's gonna throw it? Oh my God, I almost picked that. Great job. Okay, they get three and somehow we got, we got a touchdown quick. I wasn't even a part of it. Third and one, 10 to 17. Wait a minute, we could win this game. We could absolutely. 
Dude, they keep giving me this double on this side. It's gorgeous. I get a downfield blocker. I'm not gonna lie though, dude. Like even on Heisman, you can kind of be a scramble merchant against the computer. You can be a scramble merchant. Until they start QB spying you, it's pretty easy to get yards that way. First and goal. Wow. Busted coverage. Arkansas. Razorbacks are getting torched right now. It's fourth and two. This is for the ball game. I mean, we're already in a great spot, but this is really for the ball game and they feed it. Nice pass. Nice pass. Arkansas scored. It looks like they might have gone for two or missed the PAT. I'm not sure which. Arrington Maiden's a dog. This guy's unbelievably good. Easy little inside zone to our senior running back. We turn the ball over, but on fourth and seven, I get to come back in on defense. So we stop the Razorbacks one more time. It is over, over. And I don't think we're gonna. No, not only are we not gonna, they're gonna absolutely score that instantly. Damn. Ooh, a little Arkansas comeback's kind of scary. Did they get the two-point conversion? Oh my God, they got the two-point conversion. All right, Arrington Maiden are gonna need you here, buddy. First and 10, 24 to 24. All right, second and six. We got all three timeouts. We just got to get in range. This is a lot closer than I expected. Kind of gave it up there at the end. Oh, he kind of has him there, but Arrington made in. This is so much better. Look at the downfield blocking. Number six with the downfield blocking. Oh my God, why the clock just, the clock just chewed 30 seconds. Are you serious? Oh my God, we had 40 seconds on the clock and three timeout. I'm fired, bro. I am so fired as head coach. There is no worse clock management than what you just witnessed. I got to get some serious yards right here. You got to catch that football. He doesn't. Second, it's, we're going to go into overtime. That or we get a touchdown here. Those are our options. Got to give the big boy a chance. That could have been intercepted. Wow. I haven't done that in so long. What a sell. I was still on chew clock from the previous drive. All right, we win the toss. Let's start on offense. I owe it to my team to win this after selling it. All right, first and 10. Dude. I, I actually should get fired as head coach. I 100% should be fired. Criminal, criminal sell. It's all right, boys. It's a long rebuild. We're going to win the national championship. Remember this taste of defeat. The Arkansas game was indicative of our season. We finished the regular season five and seven. Doesn't look like we're hitting a bowl game. Yeah, I mean, I sold that game, but we were not going to win the Natty this year anyway. I want to see how Arrington did, though. Arrington made it. 2,800 yards, 21 and 20. He's a scrambler quarterback. He's a low overall. Oh, is he going to transfer? He ended up with 430. 39 on the ground and a touchdown. Sutton Smith, 602 and four. So just, a, it was a tough season for us. Jordan Bell had 11 touchdowns, I guess. You take the good with the bad. And yeah, we didn't get 16 sacks this season. We got four. Maybe that 4-2-5 defense was significantly better, huh? I think this is the classic, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We played really well last year and I changed our scheme for no reason. I'm going back to the 4-2-5. Now, because we lost so many games, I really couldn't land any of these four stars, but the good news is I did land a good amount of three stars. Three-star right end, three-star wide receiver, right tackle, left guard, athlete, right guard, halfback, athlete. And then a two-star outside linebacker, two-star right end, uh, Rashawn Drago's three-star tight. Tight end. I do love tight ends, so I always go for one. Um, but yeah, I mean, once we started losing early, we couldn't land any of those recruits. It is going downhill in Memphis. Five and seven, 77 overall. Yeah, we got to rebuild. It's going to be a minute, gentlemen. All right, the 2026 roster. Wait a minute, sorry. Those overalls can actually be very deceptive because I don't think it was counting the training results. So I'm actually an 82. So we're back to an 82, which is really good. The big issue, and I was worried about this. So Arrington Maiden, he had a deal breaker. He transferred because because of playing style. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the spread would work well because he did scramble a good amount. So I don't know, I guess he wanted a more true scrambler playbook. So I think we're gonna have to stick to field general quarterbacks. The other issue of course is, I mean, we've got Harris Boyd, red shirt junior, but always check your players uh, ratings caps. Harris Boyd actually could be decent. He's just a low overall right now. We absolutely need to recruit a monster quarterback this season because the rest of these guys are scramblers. They're not gonna get it done. So hopefully a solid season I think we can start Carlos Ventura now. Let's have him be a starter the rest of his career. Could actually could redshirt him this year. I'm going to redshirt Carlos Ventura as a sophomore, which is kind of weird, but I want some awesome, awesome seasons out of this guy. I'm going to redshirt him. He's going to be really good. I'll redshirt our scrambler freshman quarterbacks too, but whatever. I mean, I've just... I don't see a big future for those guys. We might as well try though, right? Yeah, we gotta land a quarterback. Here's a field general out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Terrence Ash. He obviously wants to go to LSU. That's hometown for him, but we gotta land a guy like this. 2026 season, eight and four. I thought this was gonna be a throwaway, but we have an American Conference Championship. The only thing is, even if I win this, I don't go to the playoffs. I was gonna say this is a huge game, but it's nice. I just don't think it's that huge. Let's see how well Seth did. Or sorry, Harris Boyd. 
Harris Boyd. Okay, it's so clear. If we're running Memphis's spread offense, we cannot use a scrambler. Look at the, it's a night and day difference. Harris Boyd isn't even that much higher of an overall. He just killed it. Okay, we have to have a field general. Completion percentage isn't great, but 36 and eight is incredible. Greg DeRogier, senior, 680 and seven. I'm really glad that we redshirted Carlos Ventura. I think he could end up being really good for this team. Jordan Bell, only a sophomore, 1,000 yards, 15 touchdowns. Jacoby Banks, redshirt junior, 1,010. We got him out of the transfer portal. And uh, no more Bussy. Bussy graduated. Sad days, bro. I miss my Bussy. <laughs> Defense still needs work. We don't have any true powerhouses on uh, the defensive line still. I've got to develop some guys to, to get there. And this is a way better the season than I expected. Let's see if we get through Tulsa. I expected this to be more or less a throwaway season. But hey, three-star right tackle commits. You got to love that. Do we get through Tulsa? We do not. Darn it. Tulsa is ranked. They're pretty damn good. We go eight and five. Not a bad season by any means. Oh, you know what is so sad? Jacoby Banks, monster game against Tulsa though. Eight receptions, 200 yards and three touchdowns. Good Lord. Dude, I just realized that last season we gave Memphis their first losing season in like 13 years. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's my bad. One of my favorite things to do is go into position changes and take a really fast guy and make him a running back. Raji Dennis is the perfect guy. He's got platinum tier shifty. Um, He's an 86 overall at receiving back. The only thing is I still want to develop Carlos Ventura. So I'm not going to do that right now, but I am going to keep it in my back pocket. There's also, dude, really excited about this guy that we just recruited, Doug Otis. Freshman with a base 96 speed stat. Like, straight out of high school, 96 speed. Also, Marlon Beach, 94. Both of these guys are, are going to be demons. I'm really excited for it. So no position changes to make, but a lot of good players on the squad. 2027 roster, the highest we've had this overall yet. That is huge. That, I, that makes me so proud. Now, like I said, the big things I was focusing on was getting some depth in the secondary, getting some depth on defense. I think we did a good job on a lot of that, just not all of it. Like Marjavius Moss, this guy's a freak show. 85 corner, 94 speed, 90 XL. He's awesome. Harris Boyd, after last year's great season, now as a senior, looks really, really good, but he'll be gone after this year. So somebody's gonna have to step up. I don't like our options right now. Carlos Ventura taking his first start at running back. 91 speed, 91 XL, redshirt sophomore. I am going to adjust my wide receiver depth chart though. Jacoby Banks, I feel so bad because he had a really good season. I just need to redshirt those two really fast wide receivers. All right, so Doug Otis, Marlon Beach redshirted. We could recruit a really good quarterback, start that quarterback hopefully next season after Harris Boyd leaves, and then he'll have two absolute speed demons uh, with high overalls out the gates. We just need a quarterback. Dude, every good quarterback is a scrambler. Larry To'o To'o, you're a field general. Finally, are you good? You look solid. Wait, did it, boys. Larry To'o To'o out of Hawaii. It's a very fitting last name, actually. The immersion is is here. Um, He looks ultra white, so what do I know? But welcome to Memphis, brother. You're, you're far away from the islands. In hindsight, I maybe could have gone for a four or five star, but I don't know. I didn't want to waste so much time trying to get one of those guys and then lose a big game. We got ourselves a three-star improviser, and he's a great option, hopefully, after Harris Boyd. We're simming Harris Boyd's final season right now. Let's see how it goes. Good Lord. Number 13, Memphis Tigers, 10 and 2. I was sleeping on this dude this entire time. Harris Boyd, he's incredible. Dude, he probably was in the Heisman running. 3,530 and 2. I've also low-key been sleeping on Memphis playbook. I did not realize how good it was. Was he in the Heisman watch? I really hope he was. Oh, he was, and it was Malachi Nelson's fraud ass. Oh, don't even try. Jane Rashada, Tavares Dennis, Emery Williams, Christian Vizina. Yeah, the usual suspects. I always see those names. Um, we, this is so crazy. Crazy though. We go 10 and 2. We finish 13th in the nation. USF, Tulsa, and Tulane are in front of us in the American. I think we just missed the playoffs. I don't know college football playoff seating well enough, but I'm pretty sure like the top 10 teams in the nation go no matter what. And then the, the bye goes to the, I don't know. Maybe it's the top eight teams in the nation go. Regardless, we're damn close. We almost made the college football playoffs this season. Tavares Dennis wins the Heisman. And we've got a bowl game against the BYU Cougs. Not a W. The Cougars were just too much. Mormon superpowers. All right, let's get serious here. Third best player on this whole team right now is Carlos Ventura. He's an 85 overall. I was kind of hoping he'd get maybe more abilities by now. Oh, always got to check those player caps, man. He is maxed out. This is as good as he can get, which is crazy. That does mean that... Every skill point he gets from now on will go directly to physical abilities. So he can get shifty, sidestep, takeoff, 360 silvers. Yeah, he can get a lot, but he can get all his abilities. Bet. All right, Larry Toa Toa. Are you as good as I'm hoping? I mean, he can definitely get to like a 
80 to 85, but you really don't get a lot of guys with uncapped potential until you get into four and five stars. Gonna redshirt him this year for sure. Um, starter's gonna be Glenn Beaver. He's just a very standard field general quarterback. Hopefully he can get the job done. We redshirt Toa Toa and, um, and we pray. That's what we do. A lot of good running backs on this team. Ooh, look who did it. In his senior year, Keande Henry gets 99 speed, 98 excel. That's huge. That should be really nice. It's a bummer it's his senior year though. I wish Toa Toa could have played with him. Marlon Beach, uh, 77 overall after the red shirt and um, Doug Otis transfer. Tough. Dude, like, we're winning games. I don't know why these guys want to transfer. All right, you know what? We're stringing together eight-win seasons. This Memphis playbook is so good, dude. If you have any field general back there, they honestly cook. 34, 77, 31, and 11. This guy's not even good. That's, that's super solid. Ventura, 836 and 4 as a junior. He did fumble once. Uh, 1,000 yards to Jimmy Rooks. 13 tutties. And then 868 and 8 for Keande Henry, the 99 speed demon. I do want to step in and play, but I'm just not ready right now. D-line's looking good, though. Caleb Ramsey just had a super good season. McCormick just had a really good season. This next season might be the one that I step in on. Our best QB option right now is Spencer Hepburn Scrambler. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. This is how we got in trouble last time, dude. Look at Glenn Davis. NBA legend walked on at Georgia and won the Heisman in 2029. Crazy. Military Bowl. Let's go bowling. Damn, we're 10th in the nation. Dude, we keep getting these bowl games. We just cannot get to the playoffs. Oh my God, we're number 10 in the nation. We're 10 and 3. Wait, how are we 10 and 3? Did we play the bowl game already? Oh no, we probably played the American Championship and lost, huh? Damn, we got shit on by North Texas and the American. Dude, the American Conference is actually legit, bro. All right, we're bowl week two. All right, let's play this game. Let's beat Duke. I think if we beat Duke here, we'll get a really good ranking. That should increase our stars, and then we can recruit better players in the future. We got to get a win here. Let's play the moments and uh, get this team a W. All right, Seth Hepburn, Carlos Ventura, Marlon Beach. Taking on Duke. I really, really do want this bowl get... What a ball. Oh, my God. It was not a good pass. I'm running out of lighting here, but if I get this win... I think our odds to recruit some serious absolute dogs is gonna go up because I like it took me a while to get Larry Toa Toa and he's not even that good. That's like kind of depressing. Big boy. Ooh, damn. What a play. That was a star safety. I shouldn't have gone at him. Well, this has not been my best gameplay. I'll tell you that today. Third and 10. Third and 10, I'm in! Calvin Morrency gets home. Dude, I can't speak today either. What's going on with me? All right, third and five. Hepburn is a scrambler, but he's not as fast as our boy Arrington. I'm gonna go back to the tight end. I couldn't connect with him before, but I can here. It's not Seth Hepburn, it's Spencer. I keep thinking Seth because of Seth Hennigan. I cannot speak today. Golly. Third and five. Oh, blitz over the middle. That's gonna leave our drag wide open. Way to pick it up. Good juke. All right, let's get a big pick up here. First and 10, Hepburn. Let's get that tutty boy. Out the backfield, Carlos Ventura. He is a receiving back after all. Second and two. We'll go no huddle. Just hand this one off. I'm going to go super zoom. I love the super zoom angle. Just makes me feel like I'm the player himself. And Chura's in the end zone. I'm going to turn the lights on. Ooh, Duke scored quick, but we're back in the red zone too. A lot of scoring here. And look at that. That route is lethal. 14 to 7. A little two minute drill. Dude, I'm just going to keep hitting them. Hey! I thought that was our tight end. It was not. But damn, he got up. First and 10. First and 10. Same play. We call this the same play magic. Yeah, I hate that dude that Duke linebacker whoever that is 33 is a beast. All right, Carlos Ventura second and three Little handoff up the middle. They don't expect it. He's cooking. We're going too fast, bro We're gonna score so fast another one. All right, let's get some clock off now chip wide receiver corner This is an interesting play. Oh look at the tight end. Come on now Come on big boy first and ten about a minute left here. Oh get out there. Oh, running back was so open. They have wide receiver mid-screen. This is such a fun play. It's such a weird play, but it's such a fun play, especially if you can run it right. We did not execute it very well right there. Just gonna go all go. Hepburn can scramble. Oh God, I just got bulldozed. It's a miracle I got that ball off. We'll take the field goal here. Jason Thorne's gonna trot out and that is a gimme for him. Wow, we got a good kicker. That meter was slow. Little, I didn't even know it, but we got a good kicker. What kind of head coach am I? Dude, they're sending the hottest blitzes. 17 to 14, that's another field goal. Dude, this guy's a savage though. This kicker's a dog. Another field goal good. I've never had field goals be this easy. All right, I'm on Briscoe, third and six. This is not the, oh, maybe it is the camera angle we want. Oh, no, it's not the camera angle we want. <laughs> Shit. 
I could have made that play if I wasn't on that angle. Uh, but it's so much fun. It's just, let's pass rush, bro. Come on. I'm hopping out bias. I'm a pass rusher today. Bodies, bodies, bodies. I'm on Huff. I'm on Bryce Huff in the, in the back here. Oh, play action. Bryce Huff. Oh, I got dotted. Dude, I was so close to that. How did I not animate for that? I am selling this game, but you know what? It's 20 to 21, and I got a chance to bring it all back right here. First and 10. What do you got? Oh, my God. The pass rush. Stop it, Duke. Hepburn. All right, you know what? Turning that into only minus three is, is very impressive for Spencer Hepburn here. Second and 13. God, that pass rush is crazy. Man coverage, everybody is boxed up. Duke is killing us right now. Third and 13. It's a big pickup here if we can get it. Ooh, great route. Great escape route. <laughs> It's in. They were sending man blitz after man blitz. We had to get them eventually. All right, 28 to 21. De Beer? Duke's quarterback is De Beer? I would, I would love a beer right now. Sack. Great start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cover four. Just got beamed. A minute 39 left. Third and 10. Oh my God, there are so many big moments in this game. Oh, that was crazy. How is it third and six? How do we not chew any clock? Oh, Duke used their timeouts. Third and six, huge play coming up. Is it a blitz? About the first time they haven't blitzed there. Big boy's got it. He doesn't have enough. Fourth and one. Do we take the lead? No, we we need to bury it. We need to put this game away, bro. They didn't give me Maryland hatback blast for nothing. We don't have a two fullback, one hatback set for nothing. Carlos Ventura! You can't stop that. It's actually completely unstoppable for a yard. Our kicker's, about, our kicker's having a legacy game here. In the military bowl, our kicker's about to have another game winner. Second and 12, run Maryland heavy one, but this is the coolest formation ever. Maryland heavy. Second and 12, let some clock tick. 40 second play clock, so we need to run this down to about 45. Beautiful. Damn, Ventura could almost score that, but there's no need. Shoe clock, special teams, field goal. Run this puppy all the way down, and we're gonna wait patiently. Dude, Jason Thorne, three for three, talking his shit. That's all she wrote. Sorry, Duke fans, 31 to 28. Military bowl dub, we are closing in on a playoff run. This team's overall keeps going up. Ventura, season stats, Spencer Hepburn, 28 and 16, not so great. Oh my God, Ventura is a senior. Dude, he had an insane senior season though. 1,112, dude is such a beast, I love him. Spread the ball out really well to our wide receivers and defensively, Tyler McCormick, has 19 and a half sacks. Is that, is that not a record? That must be a record. Terrell Suggs at Arizona State had 24. Damn. Although it is an American Conference record. Tyler McCormick out of Memphis, 19 sacks. Also, Jordan Bell has a career touchdown catches record with 41. All right, Larry Toa Toa is looking a lot better as a sophomore, but look at Josh Burgess. Josh Burgess is a four star that we just recruited. His accuracies are actually very good for a scrambler right now. And he also has good gold tier off platform already. I really want to start him. He's a little bit lower overall than Larry Toa Toa. I actually, you know what? I'm just going to redshirt him and we'll start Toa Toa this season. And I don't know. I think Josh Burgess might actually, he might actually be the real future of this program. 2030 and 2031 were relatively uneventful. So I'll keep both those seasons quick. We had winning records, but not by much. Losing our first bowl game, but winning our second. The year is now 2032 and and I feel incredible about this team. Yes, I could have shown you guys those two years, but honestly, this is what I was waiting for. Also, we kind of had one other guy step up at quarterback, so there's a lot of options here. So Larry Toa Toa is now in his senior year. He's got platinum tier step up and platinum tier field general. He's a 79 overall, and frankly, this guy would have been an absolute monster, but the ratings caps, his ceiling was not high enough. He could have been such an unbelievable player. Now, the same cannot be said for our two sophomores. There's there's Quincy Shembo and Josh Burgess. Josh Burgess is the four-star scrambler. He still can significantly upgrade his accuracy, IQ, quickness, and power. And he's a redshirt sophomore with gold tier off platform. This might be our guy. Now, on top of that, there's another redshirt sophomore. That's Quincy Shembo. Problem with Quincy Shembo is he, you know, he's kind of got that cap. He can get a little bit faster. He can add to his awareness, which will take us overall up. But as far as accuracies, he's maxed out. So if I'm being honest, I could use either of these guys. I 
think I like Josh Burgess better because he's got 85 speed and 96 excel. He's just more of a threat. 99 change of direction. And his accuracies are really, really good too. I mean, they're hardly any worse than Shembo. 90 short, 86 mid, 86 deep. Shembo's just got 99 throw on the run and 95 throw under pressure, which is pretty disgusting. Like, that's really good. Um, We have my favorite running back ever, Von Dahl. Von Dog, 95 speed, 90 excel, redshirt freshman running back. He's maxed out quickness, unfortunately, but he can add to power, elusiveness, hands, IQ, and route rank, so he can definitely get better. He also, like, he kind of looks like me a little bit, bro. He's got the stash and the hair. Like, that's kind of me. Our current wide receivers are all seniors. By the way, we're an 86 overall, 87 defense. Uh, Chez Duarte with platinum tier doubled it. Denard Foster with a couple abilities, 93 speed, 96 excel. Probably my favorite wide receiver right now. Then George Udo with gold tier press pro. James Rucci is our starting tight end. Solid. A very good offensive line, all things considered. 86 pluses everywhere. Um, Emmanuel Downs, platinum tier recoup, 88 overall left end. John St. John? Dude, how is your last name St. John and you name your kid John? That's actually like, that's a crime, man. Stud outside linebacker, stud middle linebacker, stud right outside linebacker. Corners are still a little weak, uh, but we do have Bryce DeLuca coming in. He's a freshman, 95 speed, a lot of room to improve. Free safety, super solid, a lot Lee. And then Denzel Huff, platinum tier house call, 89 speed senior. I love him. Okay, this team is so good right now, and our quarterbacks are only getting better. I am going to start Josh Burgess, and I'm also going to start Von Dog uh, because both of these guys can continue to get better and better. I don't know that we'll make a playoff push literally this season, but I know that I have the core that I've been looking for, and I'm finally ready to see. That's a new one. Mario Kindred, fighting Illini quarterback, 2032 Heisman. So we fell a little short this season. We're going back to the Boca Raton Bowl, eight and four on the regular season. I shouldn't say that's falling short, but we literally, it's just, it reminds me so much of the old Dominion rebuild. We beat a lot of the teams in the American every season because they suck every season, but all those big games we lose and then the games like Tulane are kind of like a toss-up so you just got to get over that hump either way we're taking on SMU here uh let's see how Josh Burgess' season was I was scared of a scrambler quarterback but he's proven us wrong 2,800 yards 28-6 awesome season in this playbook Von Dog okay two fumbles he's a freshman he's just out of high school give him cut him some slack 486 and 6 Burgess 353 and 3 and it looks like that the backup's getting some reps too he got 251 and 3 10 touchdowns for George Udo Five for Foster, six for Duarte. And defensively, anybody have a big season? John St. John did. Nine and a half sacks. And yo, Chad Milback, freshman slot corner with six interceptions. Damn. I've been watching this team play in a minute. Let's watch them play SMU here and hopefully have another good season. Oh boy. The Boca Raton Bowl. We've got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. 17 to 17. There's a handoff to Von Dog, who's averaging a whole two yards per carry, so that's not great, but... All right, 17-17, wide and out, third and 10. Josh Burgess, big throw! Oh my God, did he connect that? Two minutes and two seconds left. That was an insane conversion. Come on! Come on, Memphis, there's Von Dog! Bark, bark! Yeah, the run games on this playbook is, are horrible. Honestly, all of the run plays in spread suck. So you you really, if you want to run the ball well in this playbook, you need a superstar running back. And Von Dog's only a freshman, but he can get there. Third and three, it's a, that was the worst fucking read ever. Josh Burgess with the worst read I've ever seen. You hand that off to Von Dog and he gets a first down. Out comes the kicker, fourth and seven. Can he hit it? I get nervous on kicks, dude. Third and 21, SMU's not in a good spot. He tries to scramble and he does scramble. No, doggy, you could have gotten so many yards if you, I think it's so funny when they do that. 20 to, oh my God, this might be the final play of the game. Fourth to 21, get home. No, dropped. The Mustangs can't hang on. Josh Burgess, victory formation. Put this game away. That's a really, really good bowl win. Burgess is only a sophomore. Von Dog's a freshman. I think we got what it takes next season. I do. 2033, gentlemen. The Memphis Tigers are a threat, and I think this is our season. I'll do everything I can to take us this season. 87 overall, Dylan Barry's our best player. Next best is Emmanuel Downs. Those are both edge rushers. That's a huge difference from the start of this rebuild. Then it's right tackle, right guard, left end, left outside linebacker, left tackle. Corner, Chad Muleback got a lot better after that awesome season. Jimmy Cushing, platinum tier house call free safety. Damian Cush. 
We got some great names on this team too. Caleb O'Malley, Sugar Sean's brother is our kicker. Nice. Josh Burgess now has platinum tier off platform. Very excited about that. We've got a 99 speed freshman wide receiver, Tyler Howard. Are you ready for this schedule though? Guess who our season opener is? That is crazy. Thank God we have home field advantage because if I had to go play Buckeye Stadium, that stadium pulse would kill us. I'm going to step in and play this game. I think if we need to make the college football playoffs, I got to win this game. But oh my God, look at the Buckeyes. They're worse than us. Memphis is an 87. Ohio State's an 86. This is a down year for the Buckeyes. Still not taking it lightly, but this should be a W. First and goal. Quincy Shembo is in right now. I want it to be Burgess, but... I just realized why the game auto adjusts your depth chart. And I think Quincy Shembo is technically a higher overall. I'm sorry, but it's Josh Burgess season. You just gotta believe, man. He's He's been our guy all along. You just gotta believe. Oh my God, that edge rusher just ran through a double team. He actually outright ran directly through a double team. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Third and goal. Dot. Dot. It's not a dot. Damn. She got held by Ohio State right on the red zone. It's still Ohio State. Even if they're struggling, it's still Ohio State. It's 10 to 3 next time I take over. Third and four here. They don't have any linebackers. Let's go to Von Dog. Give me some blocks, gentlemen. Von Dog. I love Von Dog. He's my hero. All right. Dragon Stick. Josh Burgess. A, he's got the inside release. Good catch. Way to hang on to the football. I thought that was going to get knocked out. Big lead now against Ohio State. 17 to 3 still, now 19 to 3. Did we just get a safety against Ohio State? Dude. It's so weird to see Ohio State fall this far. I mean, we're a much better team than we were, but it's just, you never see Ohio State be bad like this. Look at that throw right there. What a joke. Oh my God. Jeez. First and 10. Let's do it again. Columbus. I love that name. It's got a Rick and Morty name. Let's just go to Von Dog and get barking. Second and seven. We put a hey, touchdown here. We put this game away. It's already a 16 point game, but we can push it even further potentially. Tell you what though, their pass rush is absolutely disgusting. I, I, we got a good old line too. These guys are just unbelievable. All right, big play needed. Okay, wait a minute. Tight end's got the release. He falls early. Honestly, the important thing here. Actually, no, I was going to say the important thing here at field goal, but fuck it. We're in no huddle already. Coach knows I want this. Are you going to clear B? Can you get it? <laughs> Or embarrassing Ohio State. We're going for it when no man should be going for it. And this is what it's resulting in right now. First and goal. Tight end clears on the left side. Columbus. It's not Columbus. As the backup, but still. A beautiful drive. Ohio State's cooked. We, we didn't just beat Ohio State. We dominated Ohio State. And I really didn't need much input. I don't even I didn't even play defense. My sim defense just dominated Ohio State like that. Josh Burgess, I told you coach, it's not Shembo season. It's Burgess season. Like I'm not the coach. Okay. Certainly not a bad start to the season. All right, Josh Burgess, you are the starter and let's make sure Von Dog is getting all the reps he can at running back. I don't want him accidentally getting subbed out. You know what? I'm going to make that 99 speed wide receiver our slot receiver. I want him to get some reps, dude. Tyler Howard at midseason, we're looking incredibly dominant, but we do have one loss. We're 11th in the nation. If we can keep this up, this will be our playoff push. But presumably, we got to win the American Championship. And then we just have to be the highest ranked non-power four team. That's what gets you in the playoffs. Oh my God, Navy's 0 and 8. We beat UAB. Our ranking doesn't change. That probably makes sense since the strength of schedule here isn't that high. Navy's 0 and 8. If we lose to 0 and 8 Navy, it's going to be a really, really rough season. We're nine and one. We're nine and one. Dylan Barry gets American Defensive Player of the Week. Nice, nice work, buddy. National Defensive? Four sacks is a lot. We're now eighth in the nation. Oh, North Texas. Oh, this is a huge game. I gotta win this game. I probably should have watched this one. This would have been a good one to watch. They're 12th in the nation. Deacon Bibbs commits. That tells me we probably played well. That's a four star. We are sixth in the nation. 10 and one. The only thing in front of us right now is Rice, who's five and six. This has been a nuclear season. There's no way we lose. If we just beat North Texas, please tell me to get past Rice. If we lose to Rice here, there's actually a chance we don't make the playoffs. We lost to Rice. I should have played that game. Okay, we do make the American Championship. I don't think we can make the playoffs, though. Even if we win this. Here's the top 25. Wait a minute. I'm totally the highest ranked. Oh, I'm absolutely the highest ranked non-power 5 team. Or non-power 4 team. Illinois, Miami, Arkansas, Tennessee, Notre Dame, USC, LSU, Oklahoma, Colorado, Minnesota, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Boise State. Shit. Boise State. Well, obviously, we got to win our American, but we'd also need Boise State to lose. 
right? Bradley Redmond, Miami senior quarterback win size. Wait, what? You've been invited to play in the college football playoff this week against Illinois? What happened? Okay, I clicked sim to bowl games because I thought that would sim me to my conference championship. It sims you past your conference championship. We beat Charlotte. Boise State won though. They beat Fresno State. I don't understand how I made it. Oh my God, we made it though. That's all that matters, but we made it. Hold up. Let me see this bracket. I need to sit down one day and figure out exactly how they do this. Okay, so Boise State gets a buy. We were just put in. You know what's so interesting though? This is what's interesting to me. So the number one ranked through the number 11 ranked teams in the nation all made the college football playoffs. Miami, USC, Illinois, but 12 and 13 didn't make it, but I did. That's what I'm confused about. Because if we go to the top 25, 12 is Texas A&M, 13 is Colorado, and 14 is us, Memphis. Texas A&M and Colorado didn't make it, but I made it. Now granted, I do have a better record than both those teams. What do I care, bro? I want this so bad. I'm so excited. We're taking on Illinois, the Fighting Illini, who are third in the nation as an 85 overall. But what I really got to see is I got to see our season stats. Josh Burgess, 30. 136 and three insane season. Von Dog, 744 and four. Burgess, 472 and six. Dude, he might have been in the Heisman watch. I gotta go check if he was. That's such a good season. We got 11 sacks out of Devion Keener, nine and a half out of Dylan Barry, and a ridiculous amount of interceptions. Muleback's been amazing for us. There's Brian DeLuca, Bryce DeLuca, Enrique Fry with four and three for Caesar Strong. 913 for Tyler Howard, the 99 speed at slot wide receiver, 900. 15 yards, 13 touchdowns. Definitely the right call for him. So the Heisman winner, wow, I cannot believe that Josh Burgess was not even in the Heisman talk. How about like um, player of the year? He's not in this either. Dude, he's so good. Best quarterback. This is, the, the committee is so fraudulent. The committee is so fraudulent. How about head coach of the year? Okay, well, at least I'm eighth in head coach of the year. I got something. Ooh, it is loud in here. It is so loud in here. Third and six, opening drive. That's a blitz. Get the ball off to Von Dog. End zone! Opening drive for Memphis is a huge one. It's Von Dog time, baby. It's Josh Burgess time, baby. We're playing the moments. I'm definitely gonna watch Sim on the next game, though. It's gotta be. Next game's gotta be all Sim. Third and seven. I saw Tyler Howard, but I was too scared to throw it. Fourth and 15, got sacked. End of the first quarter. Defense needs my help. It's first and 10. They just got in the red zone. Here's Enrique Fry. Got a jet sweep on the right. It is a jet sweep. Oh my God, that stiff arm was insane. Seven to seven, fourth and one. It's Von Dog season. This is going to be a dog fight too. This game is crazy right now. Fourth and one. Von Dog absolutely got that. Coach wants Texas double post. I like a play like this, coach. Third and five. Okay, there's a delayed blitz. Wow, I can't believe that freed up. Vildor's gonna get a nasty juke. Take this to the eight. Josh Burgess playing a perfect game right now. Is this gonna be an absolute slug out? First and goal. How do we wanna do this? I see some blitzers for sure. Von Dog was there. Jeez, they got three sacks already. They're getting at me so fast. All right, second and goal. No blitzers this time. That is not open, but it works. It's Vildor again. And guess what, baby? You cannot stop the Memphis Tigers when they go Maryland heavy. Double fullback, third and goal against the goal line defense. And there's just too many blockers. It's so good. It's literally so good. This is Heisman difficulty. That play, that formation is just unbelievably good. I have never once been stopped for a single yard. It's the equivalent to Philadelphia Eagles tush push. That's how good that play is. Not sure what he's looking for here. He's looking to get sacked. Fourth and 14. They're going to go for the field goal here. 10 to 14. Offense goes up empty. It's a huge third down stop that we need here. Third and five. What do you got, Illinois? Oh my God, a draw. It's so risky. Fourth and inches. They kicked the field goal. Wow, I can't believe they kicked that field goal. Third and eight. Absolutely massive play right here. They got a blitzer off the left side. We'll throw left side, but can we get there? Fourth and one. Coach wants me to keep this drive alive. Coach, I've got an idea. Coach, I don't know if you've heard, but we have a double fullback set. I don't know if you know about it. My kryptonite. Maryland! For the first time in my life, Maryland heavy did not work. It's first and 10. Illinois has got the ball. And if they, honestly, if they chewed this clock well enough, they would just beat us outright. Oh my God, that quarterback's fast! 
but not fast enough. Second and 19 for the Tigers. All right, we're gonna blitz Muleback off the right side. We just gotta apply pressure to him. Keep applying pressure to this dude. Oh my God, he's so fast. Slides down to avoid a massive hit. Dude, he's so fast. Okay, we're gonna guess pass. We know he's passing here. I'm on speed. A little slot corner action. Oh, why are you so open? They missed. He was out of bounds. Oh my God, that was such a bailout. Illinois might've just choked the game away. That might be the punt out of the fucking century, by the way. The CPU just punted it to the literal one yard line. I don't know in all my years of playing this game, have I ever seen a CPU punt dot that well. First and 10 from our own one. Give me a push. Thank you. Let's just get out of the danger zone. Second and eight now. I'm going to run that again. I, this is just too scary right here. Second and eight. Another inside zone. Good blocks this time, but I think that's a holding. What are we doing? Come on, boys. We got a one point lead in the first round of the playoffs. Do you accept that or do you decline that? Well, it's honestly, I don't know if they made the right call there. Would you take a third and four or a second and nine? They give us a second and nine. I kind of like this better. Second and nine. I think they're going to blitz again, though. They want the safety. That's why. And it looks like, ball don't lie, because we're going third and four no matter what. Scary business, gentlemen. Third and four. Four-man rush. Josh Burgess. Josh Burgess gets around it. Oh, that was huge. The merchant. That's, that's why we want Burgess over Shembo for the record. Josh Burgess is built for that, and so is Von Dog. Another first down. Are we going to win this first round of the playoffs by a single point? Shout out to my defense for holding Illinois to a field goal twice. First and 10, another handoff. I mean, they know what we're doing, right? This isn't exactly creative play calling. Let's pass here. Wait, what? Did they run commit? The CPU can do that? I, dude, I had no idea the computer could do that. Illinois just ran commit. Josh Burgess basically chucks a Hail Mary, but there's nobody down there. And that's ball game. Victory formation. Oh my God. I had no idea that the computer could do that. Memphis's very first college football playoff win is a one point victory over Illinois. And frankly, I don't even know how we're in the playoffs. Player of the game is Von Dog. Not the best average Von Dog. It's not. 2.2 yards per carry, but you got two times. Touchdowns. Congrats. Who's our next opponent gonna be? Are we gonna run into an absolute juggernaut now? Well, we play one of the teams we gotta buy, right? So I think we're kind of guaranteed to play a juggernaut now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Georgia's 11th in the nation. We are 14th. They're actually not that highly ranked. So that might, that might be good for us here. Maybe they're not as good as they normally are. Let's check. Georgia, 90 overall. Memphis, 85. This could certainly be a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get after it, gentlemen. We need sick uniforms for this game, though. Away option? We're going away option. Looks clean. I, I played so much of that Illinois game. I don't think it'd be fair. I think I gotta let Sim take over and I just gotta hope that Memphis can bring this home. Oh, does it get any better than this, gentlemen? I hope you've enjoyed the Memphis Tigers rebuild so far because we just got to a critical moment as Josh Burgess is gonna scramble out of the pocket. It is 22 to 21. Memphis Tigers football down by a single point to Georgia. Needing a game-winning drive and looking at a third and eight right now. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Josh Burgess, we need a big one here, buddy. Good blocks, clean pocket. Burgess, you gotta find somebody. Or you gotta get outside of the pocket. What was that? That was pitiful drive. And we're going for it. With three timeouts. Wait, this is so risky. I mean, I like it, but let's call a play that could actually work. He's insta-sacked. Oh my God. Memphis, what on earth are we doing here? George motions one over first and ten play action to the end zone dropped what second and ten do we still have a chance if they score we'd have to go for two unless they go for two then the game would be over it's third and seven they may kick a field goal is this real life third and seven he drops back he drops back he rolls out somebody Pitiful. Memphis Tigers are looking pitiful right now. But it's still not over. Because all this PAT does is it extends it to an eight-point game. So if Memphis can get in range, they can go for two and get it and force overtime. So it's possible. It's just really ugly. Let's see if the offense can uh, pick it up since last drive. Jeez, what was that last drive? Josh Burgess. You can't ask for a better pocket than that. Oh my goodness, he found one. It's gonna come down to a two-point conversion. It's gonna come down to a massive two-point conversion, and that's scary. Check down Von Dog. Gets a few. I mean, the dream is alive. The dream is not very alive, but the dream is alive. Josh Burgess. 
Dude, this guy's pocket presence is fucking pitiful. Georgia has seven sacks. We have zero. What are we doing? Five wide now, third and 16. Dude, you've got five seconds in the pocket. You have to get something. Oh my God. Sacked again. Fourth and 16. This is for the ball game right here. You're not going to scramble, right? DPI? Oh, it's a 15 yard penalty in college. It is not a spot foul. Oh my God, that poverty penalty. Just, no way. There's no way we do this, right? We look like shit right now. I just don't see how. That's a great conversion. I'm really just worried, dude. I'm worried about the two point. Weird spike because you need the downs here and you have a timeout. I don't know, maybe. Holy laser. Caught. Timeout. Memphis Mini's your best play. Dude, I'm tempted to go in and give him this two point. First and goal. Lofts it up! Oh my god, it's caught! Castile's got the touchdown! 27 to 29! Javante Castile! Lofter to the back left side! Oh my god! I'm stepping in. That was gorgeous. I'm so proud of this team. I am stepping in to get this two-point conversion. Okay, we have blitz highlights. We know that those two middle linebackers are blitzing. They're overloaded on the right side. There's not a soul on the left side. This is a touchdown, Josh. Touchdown. This is a two-point conversion, Josh. Josh Burgess rolling out left. And there's the blitz. And that's the freest two-point conversion you're ever going to see. I'm... S I... Hey, call me a fraud all you want. Memphis just tied it up with Georgia. And I'm going back to the sim. Oh, I, I, dude, I couldn't watch my team fail that. I literally couldn't. I, I had to step in. I'm sorry if that's fraudulent, but I had to. Oh my God, 29 to 29. Can defense hold? Come on now, Memphis. There's a handoff. Down he goes, Georgia timeout. They're trying to get in range, obviously, which is why I'm a little confused with that play call. I mean, it ended up being good, but seemed a little conservative, I guess. Dude, we're getting negative pass rush. Where the fuck? You saw him stepping up. Where are you guys going? Dude, what is going on? First and 10 with 10 seconds left. If they get about 25 yards here, it's game. They'll hit a field goal. <gasps> but okay, now I don't think they can get it. Now I think we are going overtime. Second and 10. I think we are going overtime here. That's Hail Mary. Yup. Okay, so they can't get a field goal. They can catch a Hail Mary. Flag! Defensive pass interference! I guess that's the only reason I'm in this game, huh? Okay, now they get on the 40. Do they kick a 57-yard field goal? No. With zero seconds, they're gonna run Hail Mary again. Except they're a lot closer. I'd kick the field goal. 57-yarder? Holy shit, please. No DPIs, no catches. Oh my god. We're going into overtime. I'm playing. Coach, put me in. I want this and the feds can't stop me from having it. It's Memphis versus Georgia and I'm stepping in for overtime. It is about to be Von Dog season. I will not be throwing the football. Memphis won the toss. Why am I not choosing? We elected to play defense first. Why did I get to choose that? I just clicked play full game and it just booted up the sim. Dude, somebody get this man. I'm so sick of watching this slow-ass QB get 12 yards on a scramble. Put me in. First and 10. Here we go. I got Alvin Kamara back here. I'm going on mule back. It's one of our best players. That's a handoff, Georgia. It's going nowhere. Second and 13. I'm staying on mule back, bro. This guy is so good. Second and 13. I'm guessing pass. We got to get home on Georgia. Get home on Georgia. Check downs, check downs, good defense. I'm getting on downs. I'm pass rushing. Third and 13. I'm pass rushing. I can't believe it. I'm off, and I'm on the QB. Oh my God, that's our first sack of the day. Oh yeah, you can't believe you got sacked once. You guys have sacked us eight times. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Fourth and 20. No way I could block a kick, right? I've literally never blocked a kick in my career. Oh my God, I overran it. Bro, that could have been a roughing the kicker. I overran the kick. 32, oh my God, I had it. Holy shit, I should have blocked that. First and 10, hey, we're already in field goal range. So give the damn ball to Von Dog. And take that Ooh, piss poor running. Just piss poor running. It shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't. Ooh, that's a blitz there. Columbus should be open. Sort of. Good angle. Third and two. We take that. I'm about to go Maryland heavy. Maryland heavy on third and two. You can't stop this. You can't stop this twice. What you know about Maryland heavy? Five yards. I'm going to Maryland heavy this all the way into the end zone. See, this is why coach, this is why the sim coach isn't a good play caller. Because if he was a good play caller... He would run Maryland every, every play. Von Dog and the Tigers are advancing to the next round. Oh my God, what a run. What a run, Memphis. Unbelievable game, 35 to 32, going into overtime and beating Georgia. Felix Vildor, American Offensive Player of the Week. Five receptions, 126 yards, three touchdowns. Hell yeah. The Cotton Bulls against number one Miami. I think they have the Heisman winner this year too. Whoa, they're 14 and 0. Things that you do not want to see. Fuck, dude. 
Dude, I don't care. We just beat Georgia. We can beat these bums. Rankings are a myth perpetuated by the government. Just kidding. I shouldn't say that quite yet. It's 28 to 21. We've got a seven point lead, but we need a few more first. Dude, da, 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 Josh Purchase. Josh Purchase. We just hand the ball off and chew the clock, buddy. We are in field goal range right now. So please just don't turn it over. Von Dog. Jesus. Shot that gap like a freak. All right, timeout Miami. 28-21 in the Cotton Bowl. We don't even make it to the two-minute warning. That's not good. See, that's why that pass was stupid. You got to get to the two-minute warning. Oh, my God. Miami, you deserve this loss. You just let Cam Columbus, Cam Columbus, run directly to the back of the end zone on one of the final plays of the game. That's a bad beat of the century. It honestly wasn't close really at any point. The closest it got was 28-21. That's when I stepped in to watch and we insta-scored. Memphis Tigers. We really struggled with Georgia. We did not struggle with Miami. Burgess threw five touchdowns, 232 passing yards. Tigers are looking real good. That means the national championship is next game. Let's see the stats that's here. Redmond threw two interceptions. Joss Burgess threw zero. He must have had one on the ground then. He must have had a rushing touchdown. Von Dog, very ineffective. Burgess was very effective. Six broken tackles, Josh Burgess. Columbus, three touchdowns. Cam Columbus owns you. Six for 60 and three tutties. That's a big fantasy game. Who next? I repeat, who next? Bryce DeLuca, Defensive Player of the Week. Josh Burgess, Offensive Player of the Week. What are the odds? What are the odds of this? Dude, I thought Boise State was going to keep us from making it. Looks like that was fraudulent. Boise State makes it. The college football playoff bracket. Tell me you'll ever see this again. Memphis beats Illinois, beats Georgia, beats Miami. Boise State gets a bye, beats Tennessee and Oklahoma. This has got to be a legit program. I don't know if I've ever seen Boise State be this good. Let's see what this team's got. Boise State, an 82. They're a lower overall than us. They've got a stud right guard, a stud wide receiver, Carlos Trent. A stud middle linebacker? Dude, I don't know how they did it. But you know what's funny? I don't know how they did it, but they're looking our, at our roster and they're saying the exact same thing. They're saying, how did Memphis do? Boise State Broncos versus the Memphis Tigers. For the first time, we're going to pull out an alternate uni. I don't like the gray and blues, but I do like the black and blues. Big time. No, I take it back. Let's just go blue and gray. Let's just get weird. Let's just get weird, boys. And let's win this ball game. For the college football national championship, I'm going to be playing the moments. I'm so proud of this team for beating Georgia. That was the game where I thought for sure we're going to need another year or two. Like, there's no way that we can get it right now. They scored that touchdown with almost no time left on the clock. I come in and get the two-point conversion, and we close it up in overtime. That's just crazy to me. We will be playing the moments and the moments only. Our first moment is a big third down stop. Here we go. I'm on Laybourne. Our junior linebacker, and I'm leaving the middle because I'm a fraud. Fumble! Layboard's got it! Memphis ball! See, I was in the right position all along. 3,000 IQ play. Sorry you don't know ball. That was Caesar Strong who forced the fumble. I mean, there's no excuse to fumble there. It was a big hit, but there's no excuse to fumble there. It's too early in the ball game. First quarter's coming to a close. Our next moment, also defensive. It's third and 10. They're kind of in range here. I'm going on, on guess who? Caesar Strong. They're going to go with a slip screen. And we just got a phantom tackle. Oh my God. In fact, one of our players got bodied so bad. Wait, he said it looks like they're going for it. Is this a fake? Oh no, that was so weird. The Sim said it looks like they're going for it, but then they kicked it. It's funny because in Madden, if it says that, it's telling you that it's a fake. Boise State scores first. My next moment is a third and five, and I want to be able to scramble. So I'm double teaming the right side. Good. He spins inside. Easy throw. Caught. End zone. Almost. It's first and goal in all season long. Every single defensive coordinator in the nation has said, how do we stop Memphis's Maryland eye heavy halfback blast? They say, coach, it's easy. Just, just match their head count. He said, it's not that fucking easy because every time they run it, they get a yard. Every time they run it, they get a yard. Maryland heavy will feed Memphis families for years. First touchdown goes to Memphis, third and 17. Carl Muleback, he's had such an incredible season. They're going to go with the counter, and I'm going to whiff. I'm going to whiff with Muleback. Let's call a timeout. Oh, we could have had a possession there. It is still three to seven. Our next moment is offensive. It's third and six. I'm looking mesh spot here. I don't know that it's got it. Oh my God, I had that dig in the middle. How did I miss that? Massive mistake by me because on the ensuing drive, Boise State gets a touchdown. What a huge mistake. When my team needed me most, I vanished. I'm like the avatar. First and 10 though, Josh Burgess, second and four. Going back to the mesh. 
This time I'm actually hitting my man. First and 10. Gonna audible the tight end attack here. Put Von Dog on a, on a nice little route right there. If this is manned up, I like it. Oh. Oh, that's risky. I'm a lucky soldier. We are not getting Von Dog involved, but dude, they're loading the box. I don't got the numbers for this. I gotta run it. I can't keep passing. I gotta at least show them that I'm willing. Dude, 14 rushes, 18 yards. Completely bottled on the run game. The only man who can run right now is Josh Burgess. <laughs> As I say it, Josh Burgess is gonna fight for a first and hang on to the football. First and 10, almost under two minutes. It's getting scary in here, fellas. First and 10, the national championship. Josh Burgess, we need you. Josh Burgess, second and inches, great run. Two minutes, 27 seconds left. Boise State up by three. Memphis is knocking on the door. Would you let me in already? Von Dog, Von Dog. Down to the three. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. One more run play, then we go Maryland. I'd love to see him stop it. Hey, middle linebacker absolutely stuffs that right there. But can you stuff Maryland three times? If Boise State can stuff Maryland three times, they deserve the win. Second and goal, the first Maryland. Touchdown. Unbelievable formation. Memphis on top, 14 to 10. Now we're gonna play a little defense. I'm using Muleback. I mean, they've got the clock. They can run the football. They're just gonna check this one down. Out of bounds, second and six. Second and six, Boise State looking to mount a legacy drive here. Quarterback's flushed out. He's stepping up and sliding to avoid getting his head taken off. Third and five. That was Laybourne once again. A stop here and it's all over. Oh, they find one wide open in the middle. He takes a massive hit. Boise State's calling a timeout. A minute 38 on this clock. They throw! He throws! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I don't want to be looked at right now. I know what I did was stupid. It doesn't matter. We're going to win this game. First and 10. Sorry, I can't stop it. The voices in my head are screaming. They're screeching. They want to be fed. And finally, for the first time all day, they're shutting up. First and 10. Second and three. Timeout, Boise. I should have been running the ball there, but I knew that they've got the timeouts to slow this down. Read option. Hand off Vaughn. Ball game. Ball game. Timeout, Boise. It doesn't matter. It's victory formation for Josh Burgess, for Von Dog, for Coach Maher, for Cam Palumpus. The Memphis Tigers are national champions. The best part of every rebuild, gentlemen, is just enjoying this screen. I have worked the past five and a half hours for this screen, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. There's Cam Cush just dapping him up. There's Von Dog. There's Coach Maher. I know. Biblically accurate Matthew Maher, if you couldn't tell. You got to love that gold confetti, man. His Literally one of the best things you can see. Number one fan out there. Khakis are not the drip though, I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. Dude, Von Dog continuously wins player of the game off of the most mid performances you'll ever see. He's just the one who gets the ball on Maryland. That's all there is to it. He's the he's the guy who gets the ball on Maryland. I find it so ironic too. The team we almost rebuilt instead of Memphis was Maryland. Oh, here's the shot. Here's the shot. The shot of a lifetime right here. You gotta love that. It is so ironic though that the play that like seals it all, seals the deal is Maryland. And I almost rebuilt the Terrapins instead of Memphis. College football national champions all right let's take a look at the stats see if we broke any memphis records other than the ones we already saw burgess ends the season 4,000 yards 45 and 4 that's godly that's gotta be some memphis records bro it has to be marcus tolbert has career interceptions record that's pretty cool. Larry Toa Toa, in his one season in 2030, broke the American season record. Seriously? Oh my God. I did not see that coming. All right, season records for Memphis. What do we got? Harris Boyd has passing yards on a season. Toa Toa has passing touchdowns. Tyler McCormick has sacks. We knew the sacks. Dude, these single game records are crazy though. We did not beat any of these. Makes me sad. It's a hell of a rebuild though. All right, now we sim one entire season on autopilot to see if we left this team in good hands. Coach which I'm washed. I'm so washed. We went six and six. How? My roster was better, right? Maybe we should have a tough schedule. Dude, we got a 90 overall running back now. Burgess is an 87 with platinum option kink. Like, dude, how? Josh Burgess senior season, he looks like a freak. I do not know ball. I did play a good amount of games last season though. Dude, look at our wide receivers. Deshaun Hockley, 99 speed. Tyler Howard, 99 speed, 99 XL. I, I felt like I left this team in really good hands. I don't know how we went six and six. We lost to Western Michigan in the season opener, 56 to zero. We lost to Cal, who's ranked. Let's see, UAB lost to UTSA, lost to Temple, lost to, I got my national championship. All right, that was Sumi. Gentlemen, I love you. You are so handsome. But
but it's time to finally put a pin in this Memphis Tigers rebuild. I hope you enjoyed. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.